sharing small video of few important pediatric x-rays in day-to-day -day practice. Some are like a spot films and some for the learning purposes. Case number one, 30 weaker newborn with a respiratory distaste. Obviously, it is a X-ray of hyaline membrane disease or respiratory distress syndrome or surfactant deficiency all are synonyms. What are the X-ray findings here? Ground glass appearance to the both lung fields, symmetrical reticulonodular opacities, air bronchograms, blurring of the cardiac and diaphragmatic margins. Few important things, it is caused by surfactant deficiency common in neonates less than 36 weeks, more the prematurity, more the severity of HMD. Surfactant is produced by type 2 pneumocytes. Sur what is the role of surfactant? It lowers the surface tension of alveoli. Deficiency of surfactant in alveoli, they lose their compliance, meaning that they remain collapsed. And clinically, RDS present immediately after the birth. Grading of RDS is important for clinical management. This slide shows all four grades of RDS. Film in the center is normal X-ray chest. Grade 1, subtle ground glass appearances, minimal reticulonodular shadows, no much hypoventilation, diaphragmatic and cardiac margins are well seen. Grade 2, significant ground glass appearance, but still the lungs are fairly ventilated. Air bronchograms seen in the region of the heart and not seen in the lateral aspect of the lung fields. Cardiac and diaphragmatic margin are obscured. Grade 3 findings are same as in grade 2 but air bronchogram also seen in the lateral part of the lungs. Cardiac and diaphragmatic margins are significantly obscure. Gate throat, almost opaque lungs fields with or without air bronchogram, heart and diaphragmatic margins are not seen at all. Grade 1 and 2 RDS do not need any intubation, no need of ventilatory support and more important, surfactant therapy is not required. They do well just with a oxygen support whereas in grade 3 and grade 4 HMD they need intubation they need ventilatory support and more important they need surfactant therapy which is a magic drug as i said surfactant is a magic drug this is the x of the child showing grade 4 HMD surfactant was given through the endotracheal tube and have a look at the x-ray which was taken just after the three hours of surfactant therapy where both lungs are well expanded, diaphragmatic and cardiac margins are well seen, both lungs are fairly good ventilated. Here, let us go through the causes of respiratory neonatal distress. Causes can be medical or causes can be surgical. Amongst the medical causes, transient tachypnea of newborn, meconium aspiration, neonatal pneumonia and more important respiratory distress syndrome or surfactant deficiency among the surgical causes, congenital diaphragmatic hernia, congenital cystic adenomatoid malformation, congenital lobar emphysema or sequestration. In case number 2, I will like to demonstrate variety of thymic appearances in periodic x-ray chest. One should be familiar with the appearance of the thymus and before that let us see few thymic signs. Sail sign where you will see the lateral sharp border as the thymus is mediastinal organ and lower margin of the thymus is sharp giving the appearance of the sail or port. Thymic wave sign it can be seen on right as well as on the left. We all know thymus is located in the superior mediastinum anteriorly. It is very soft organ seen on the x-ray up to 3 years of age. Thymic shadow should not be visible after 3 years of age. When its lateral border is indented by anterior ends of ribs which gives undulation to the lateral margin causing a typical wave sign. 
when inferior border of the thymus interrupts with the cardiac shell out giving a typical notch we call it as a notch sign notch sign can be seen on the right or the left whenever you see both lobes of thymus are elevated upwards and laterally we call this as a spinnaker cell sign and this is a sign of pneumomediastinum there is a complete spectrum of normal appearance of the thymus on x-ray chest figure number 1 shows a typical cell sign on right figure number 2 shows thymus on either side but dominantly on the left side with obliteration of the left heart border figure number 3 shows thymus on either side with a typical notch sign on right figure number 4 shows thymus on either side with a typical cell sign on right and figure number 5 shows thymus dominantly seen on the left with obliteration of the left heart border case number 3 this was again a newborn baby had some respiratory distress someone thought it is a large thymic shadow on left but distress continued on day 2 and baby was sent to us for opinion what we thought a large opacity on left displacing heart and trachea as i said normally thymus is very soft organ and do not cause any displacement of normal anatomical mark in addition there was a small air crescent at the left dome of diaphragm we thought some sol we took baby for ultrasound where two large cystic lesions were noted consistent with ccam type 1 and ct showed two large cysts on left suggestive of ccam type 1 which is the most common type where cysts are more than 2 cm size in ccam type 2 cysts are usually less than 2 cm in ccam type 3 macroscopic cysts are seen giving solid mass on chest x-ray case number 4 35 week old baby born to villager complaining of frothing since last two days clinical suspicion of tracheoesophageal fistula was made with typical coiling of the rice tube seen in the upper esophagus pediatric surgeon wanted to confirm before taking for the surgery so dye study was advised we use 1 to 2 cc of non ionic contrast media which confirms upper blind aid and there is a gaseous stomach and bowel loops so this is a common type of tuf seen in almost 86% of the cases where upper end is blind and lower end is connected to bronchus this slide shows various combination and permutations of tuf both esophageal ends can be blind upper end connected to trachea and lower end is blind upper end is blind and lower end is connected to trachea which is a commonest type which we have seen both the ends can be connected to trachea and h type of fistula where small tract of esophagus is connected to trachea another newborn with a severe respiratory distress ultrasound study was not available very obvious case of bobtailic type of congenital diaphragmatic hernia where we see many cyst like shadows of the bowel loops with a marked mediastinal sheath baby is very distinct because of ipsilateral and contralateral hypoplastic lung ipsilateral side is collapsed by herniated bowel loops and contralateral lung is hypoplastic because of marked mediastinal sheath we all know we can antenatally diagnose bobtailic type of hernia by identifying herniated stomach in the thorax with a marked mediastinal sheath This is bit older child of 3 months complaining of mild respiratory distress and cup on and off x-ray shows herniated bowel loose mostly colon mainly on right so this is a morgagnis type of congenital diaphragmatic hernia where defect is on right in the antero medial aspect of the diaphragm and commonly colon and omentum are the organs to herniate through this defect Case number six, 
टू ईयर्स चाइल्ड प्रेजेंटेड विद कफ एंड माइल्ड रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस सिंस लास्ट टू डेज एक्सरे शोज इंक्रीज ट्रांसलुसेंसी ऑन लेफ्ट माइल्ड मेडास्टिल शिफ्ट राइट लोअरिंग ऑफ लेफ्ट डोम ऑफ डायफ्राम स्प्लेइंग ऑफ वेसल्स ऑन लेफ्ट All these observations are consistent with partial foreign body obstruction in left bronchus, typical ball hole type of obstruction where air can go in but cannot come out and trap in the lungs. Friends, we cannot afford to miss diagnosis in a given case. This is absolutely life saving. Film must be taken without any rotation. Both the clavicle must be projected symmetrically on the film. Sometimes foreign body obstruction can be complete obstruction giving you appearance of the complete collapse of the lung or lobe with a mediastinal shape to the same side complete obstruction is rare case number 7 who days old baby had severe respiratory distress and now where is the pathology on this film of course on left where you see lot of air in the left pleural cavity without any lung marking with a marked mediastinal shift to right consistent with tension pneumothorax on left here is another case of pneumothorax on right with a typical lateral border of collapsed lung and mild mediastinal shift to left sometimes you see this sort of a line especially in neonates giving you pseudo appearance of the collapse of lung but look carefully this line is going below the dome of diaphragm and lung marking are visible lateral to this line also so this is a case of just a skin fold causing illusion of pneumothorax case number 8 one year old child presented with a high grade fever and cough since last 3 days showing large patches in right upper lobe and both lower lobes follow up x-ray after 2 days shows cavitary lesions in these opacities here we are dealing with a staphylococcal pneumonia with typical nematocysts we should pick up precisely and report because antibiotics for staphylococcal pneumonia are slightly different and moreover other complications of rupture of these nematocysts with pneumothorax or hydropneumothorax or empyema are quite frequent case number 9 newborn child with respiratory distress x-ray shows opaque left upper lobe with marked mediastinal shift to right x-ray of same child after 10 days shows over expanded left upper lobe with a mediastinal shift to right so we are for sure dealing with a congenital lobar emphysema we know this is common in left upper lobe right middle lobe and right upper lobe and usually not seen in lower lobes case number 10 again newborn child with mild respiratory distress x-ray shows heart on right and liver shadow also on right stomach on left so this is a isolated dextrocardia with situs solitus in this situation congenital heart defects are quite frequent if you get dextrocardia with situs inversus meaning liver on left and stomach on right here heart can be absolutely normal without any chd So friends thanks for watching this was my small attempt to present a video on conventional radiology if you like it please write to my mail id drsureshsahu@edipen.com or sms me on my cell thank you